So we are quickly going to learn how we can make an image accordion. So you could check this and you could see that there are actually a plugin or not a plugin, but lots of Elementor plugins that does this, but there is some issue. So let me first showcase what they do and what the issue is. So for example, an essential add-on in the, even in the free version, you could get this one. So you could see, then we got uh, one in unlimited add-ons, which is this style. Then we got in happy add-ons which requires clicking or like hover like this. And we also got premium add-on which is only for the paid version. Only in paid version you can use this. And then we got croco block one which is like this. But the issue that I found in all of this even in like the pre uh, like paid and free versions is that we cannot click on like the whole image for a link. So for example we can add a link to this text title but i want to have a link to all of this section all of this section for this one same with this that it only adds a button but we cannot like click everywhere else it only works for this one same with this one like button uh, this one i don't know it's in pre pro version so but i don't see any links to this one like this you could see and in this one also we cannot add an image to like oh sorry link to the whole section we can only add to a button so instead of that we will create it manually and it's very easy to do it so for this tutorial i'll make i guess four by four one uh, but you could do any one you could do three by three two by two or any way you want uh, just add a container make this full width you see and then in the first one i will add a image and let's say you don't use let's say if you didn't add it like this uh, via if you didn't add it via this then if you manually added it like this uh, and then you added another container make sure it is set to full width and then choose a value else it will not work you need to choose a value let's say if, if it's set to 100 and then you duplicate it this is how it looks but by default it says 100 so make sure you just figure it out how it uh, what the right value is if you're manually doing this uh, sorry it was 50 50 right because we want it to be half like this so make sure you manually add uh, some value around here so that it is equally divided so for quicker reason i will use the 4 by 4 which has already done like 25 25 25 let me make this one full width I'll give this one like a height of 500. You could give any height. And in the first section, I will add an image. Now, I'll, I haven't uploaded much image on this one. So I'll just use like random one. Uh, I'll set it to center center and then display co uh, display cover like this. I'll go into background overlay and then make a black overlay on top of it. If you want to, uh, everything else is your dependent on whether you want to add the overlay or not. Again, do this. And this time I will add like 0.8 so that on hover it gets like darker. It's just designing however you want to design. You could do that. And then I'll add a title for this video. And if you want to add title, you could do it. Or if you don't want to do it, you don't. Let me add like title one, something like this. You could add anything that you want. Uh, I totally forgot to tell you that you will require, require Elementor Pro and please get the Elementor Pro from link in the description or you could check my another tutorial where it showcases how you can use CSS or Elementor CSS without having Elementor Pro but I don't recommend doing that but if you have the money and if you have the budget to do it please consider buying Elementor Pro from the link in the description that way you could support me. So we added this one. I'll just do is copy paste style paste style so that it's faster and I'll copy this title basically title 2 and title 3 and so on okay uh, also by default Elementor adds like 10 padding so if, if it's showing empty it means there's 10 padding so I'll remove it like this if you want some spacing below this one then you could just add you know margin instead so this is what we have got we got four containers with 25 percent of size so what we are going to need is we are going to need to do is add custom css and again custom css requires elementor pro if you don't have it 
buy it from the link in the description or you could check my other video which showcase how to use it without elementor pro but again i recommend getting elementor pro for like less uh like faster website speed and less chances of website breaking because of plug, uh, plugin conflicts so what we are going to do is in the first container i'm just going to call it like i guess service one like this go into custom css type dot service one when we hover on service one i want the width of this area to be 50 percent and you could see what's happening and obviously you could decide how much you want it to be so if you want it to be 80 percent you could do 80 if you want it to get smaller you could do smaller too but it will like be buggy like this so make sure it's bigger than 25 percent uh 50% like this and now we don't want it to be like so janky it shouldn't be like super fast so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click dot service one and then add a transition of uh 0.3 seconds like this so now it takes 0.3 seconds to get this much bigger and if you want to you could make it like slower to 0.8 seconds like this if you want it to be faster you could do like this basically that's one thing that we do and then all we need to do is copy this go into our second container call this service to i'll add notepad this is faster select two to and copy this one paste it we got our second accordion and we do three call this one service three then we go in this one call this service four copy this get in this one and we got the animation ready like this you can see and then all we need to do is we need to go into our layout additional a link like this and it will add uh, a link to whole section of this and remember that we cannot add any links to the nested elements so let's say for this to work for this to work uh, if i added for right now let me just showcase in the live page so you can see that we actually have a link added to this one you could see my mouse cursor changing and then at the bottom you could see the link like this anywhere i click but remember that if i added a link to let's say this title something like this You could say it just breaks the layout so you cannot have any link inside of this container into or any element inside of this should not have extra link it should only be in this section so you also cannot add a button inside of this one just adding a button even if you remove this would break it because a button already has a link inside of it you could say it broke it so make sure if you want to do something like uh, you could just you know if you want to do something like button you could just use background instead like this and then give it like padding that way it would look same as a button and that way you don't have to like break it so now let's make it for the tablet and mobile cust uh, responsive because right now it might look nicer on the desktop but if you go onto tablet it just looks weird it would look something like this but it's very easy to fix it so or it would look like something like this not uh, okay this is how it would look to you guys and it's very easy to fix so first we need to do is click on this section and let's say if you want to showcase it like this then sure you could do it and all you will need to do is change some values to ma match it to like uh, what you call to match it for the tablet version and let me first showcase in another way because that's the same method but uh, i'll show you don't worry so first i want 
to for tablet to be top to bottom rather than left to right i want it to be top to bottom like this and don't worry if you want to show left to right we'll still be doing the similar steps so right now the issue is this ones are 25 percent because this is what we have set around here so obviously if we make it let's say 100 percent it would not work because uh by default if we go into our custom css this is getting applied that when we hover on it it is changing to 50 percent you could see so what we will do is we will keep this same like this and then what we will do is we will add a css class on top of it that would say that this code should only work for desktop and it's very easy to do i actually copy pasted it around here and it says media minimum width is 1025 pixels okay and then what we are doing is what we are saying that uh, whenever a device has higher width than 1024 which is tablet portrait it will uh, only it will run this code so let's do this and add semicolon and now what it's doing is this will only run for you see the animation is not working for this one because this one is only working for the desktop version like this then the next step that we are going to do is it's very easy to do to, it might look like confusing for someone new but basically we are just doing the same stuff that we do via you know it's uh, what via this stuff like we change to like different sizes and then change the value but instead of doing with sliders and all we are just using code and you just need to copy paste it again and again that's all we are doing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this code like this one and then i'm, I'm going to use different uh what you call media max width query so this one okay so what we are doing is we are basically using the same thing that we have done so for media max width so this one is saying that whenever a device is from 0 pixel to 1024 pixel we want to run this code which is this one okay and it is same so let me just copy paste this one around here and then close it with a semicolon did we not copy paste it well there we go okay so we did the same thing and you could see the animation is now working which is the same thing because it is doing the same thing but what we actually need to do is here i will give a width of width of 100 percent like this which is same as going into this one and then changing it to like 100 percent okay rather than doing it from there we are doing by a code which is width of 100 percent and then we want this one to be not present so you see that way there's no animation for the width and instead of doing that we will actually be changing our height and i think we might not even need to do it via this one we can actually just do it with this one so let's try it so let's say i did it via 100 and yep it's working so we can actually do it with just this one make it 100 go into custom css uh all we did was from the hover section we removed this animation because this one is using for tablet and this one is for using tab for desktop it will not uh, load this animation so what we are doing is right now that we will give it a height of let's say 200 pixels something like this approximately you could choose anything and then on the hover version which is this one we will type height of something bigger so like let's say 300 pixels and this is the animation that we get so all we did was okay we actually don't even need to do this so all we did was we use this same animation except of using width we are using height so height 200 pixel to height 300 pixels you see and all we need to do is copy paste this one to like service 2 service 3 service 4 for our mobile version and you could obviously change the value of the image from here how you want it to showcase any way you want it to or position if you want to change it to like top center or like center left or like custom position something like this okay and the link would obviously be working because we have added a link 
now let's see for the left and right version and we like we said or like i said uh instead of using let's say if you were still trying to do left to right this style let's say this style you are still trying to do it all you need to do is use this same code again but add this one and change the width value that's all you need to do so let's say if i copy pasted uh, cop let's say i copied this one on top of this thing added our animation so now this animation is only working for desktop you could see and then all i did was copy this code and then copy pasted this code again And you could see the animation is working and all we need to do is like play around and then now it's doing 80 percent if it's going 100 we can do 100 percent it's not going to go like way too big i guess because simply this is the maximum area that it can cover right now can we force it to get bigger yep we can force it to get even bigger like 500 percent you could see so right now this animation is working for desktop this animation is working for tablet and for the next one which is the mobile version it is similar we just changed this value to what was it 767 so 767 and then we just copy paste this one again so we do the same thing with like three different values basically i'll add this code in the description and you can basically use for desktop so stuff like i'll type something like this desktop and then this one for like tablet and then there would be like another version for mobile like this and then all we need to do is change the values around here to like match with however you want it to work and you could see that if we don't add 767 it uses this version which is the tablet version and that way you could add a nice image accordion and all you do is add some code takes time to do it but it is much more better than using any other plugins because you know not extra code it's faster even the code is like very simple and easy so yeah, pretty easy. Thank you everyone for watching and use the links in description, subscribe, like and whatever else.